Hi everyone. So uh, back at this plate, um, I've been uh, taking lumps and ridges out. And so now what I've got is around 3.5 in the middle, a little less than three around the edges. I, my, my convention is to uh, just to go over this. Where it says four, it really means 3.4. So all of these single digit numbers uh, have an implied three millimeters and a decimal point in front of them, okay? And then around the edge, just because we're getting thin, when I write down a number that's under three, I, I include the two and circle it just so I remember that this is a thin area while I'm doing my debump and, um, you know, the this part of the graduation. So I still have some things that that could be taken care of. In other words, here's the 3.2 and not too far away from it is a 2.8. So, you know, really we could go in there and try and take that spot out, for example. This is what I've been doing for the last few hours. This is slow and time consuming and anybody who thinks it isn't hasn't ever done it or hasn't ever done it um, to the kind of accuracy that I think is required anyway. Okay. All right, so we went from two, two tenths of a millimeter to one tenth here, and now we see we have got ones going like that, which is pretty cool. So that's nice. Let's look over here. Maybe a little thicker. Got some, got some twos here. So we're over on this side, we're down to 3.1. Here we got 3.2. So we'll just go after this a little bit. I'm just, just showing you, this is what I've been up to today. It's just doing these little adjustments. Obviously, um, we're in the place now where we have to go slowly and take a lot of care about where we remove material, how much we remove, etc. cetera. Um, and even though the, the tool is curved, as we've said, because the tool is flexible, depending on how you handle it, you can get it to kind of lay down over the surface. And so it won't actually be taking a cut that looks like the difference between the, the two curves. The scraper edge will be complying and kind of uh, laying against the surface that you have. Um, and it tends to even things out kind of automatically just by virtue of the tool. Now with this low angle light thing, you can see, um, you know, that there is some, oh, well, here's a little bump here. So this is a fantastic tool, uh, a, a, a light that we can wiggle around and, and um, get a useful shadow and I've got a lot, I've tried a lot of these things over the years, but this one seems to be my favorite one. Um, it's a simple desk lamp with an on off switch. It's not dimmable, but the gooseneck is, um, holds firmly, but is easy to reposition. So it's great for this, this job that we're doing right here. And you can see over here, we've got a little fuzzy stuff going on, which, you know, you can preen that out by, by easing up on the, the pressure that you put on the scraper. And also, you can, you can get rid of it by, let's find another spot, here we go. You can get rid of it by laying the scraper forward a lot. And that means that it's gonna be um, a lot less rake, all right? So when we do this, that's a, that's a lower rake condition so the scraper is incapable of digging in very much and um, 
Oh, this direction's working better. Anyway, you can see how it preens off those little fuzzy tear outs that we got before when we were just going for a dimension. All right. Um, I thought I'd show you what I do next after, after this stage, go back and forth a little bit uh, between scrapers and sandpaper. This is a, a favorite trick of mine. This is a, a piece of Kydex material. This is 1.5 millimeters or 60 thousandths thick. And it's just a, a um, it's a funny kind of thermoforming plastic. If you saw my, my segment on, um, on thermoforming, this is the same exact material I used to make the little cover that goes under the pick guard on guitars that have pickups. And so um, it's easy to work with, a lot of fun, nice and, nice and flat. And it has two surfaces that are useful to us as a sanding stick. So one surface is, you know, pretty flat and shiny. And the other one has a texture to it which um, the Kydex people call hair cell. I don't know why it's called hair cell, but that's the name of this texture that they, that they provide. And it's um, used for a lot of things. People use it for um, making holsters for knives or uh, sidearms. And then also, um, if you uh, have ever <laughs> put luggage in your overhead compartment, those things are usually thermoformed out of Kydex also. Uh, pretty useful stuff. It's half ABS and half PVC plastic, for those of you who care about that kind of thing. And the nice thing about this is that, this is 220 paper, by the way. So this is gonna just bridge over um, and cut the high spots and leave the low spots alone which with our good lighting we are just talking about, we should be able to size this up pretty easily, see what we're doing. So, now we're gonna expect to lose maybe one or two tenths of a millimeter, which is, roughly four to eight thousandths in thickness while we're doing this, okay? And I've decided to start sanding now and cleaning things up um, with sandpaper because I have judged the top pretty close to the flexibility that I want. So. First thing I'll do is massage the top with this 220 grit paper. You can see it's doing a nice job of leaving the low spots and taking off the high spots. Nice and calm, you can see what you're doing. So this is gonna get the, we'll, we'll, we'll sand until we get the surface pretty much this condition. And then um, we're going to use a dual, dual orbital sander. And uh, in a very methodical way, so we don't, we're not going to chase anything with the sander. In other words, we're going to try and use it as evenly as we can so that, uh, you know, all we're doing is taking out the sanding scratches. And in fact, we won't do that this time around because we're, we're going to just sand out most of the little bummers and then uh, go about reevaluating the stiffness of the plate to see if it's the right stiffness for our 
to my liking. <laughs> One admonition that I've always admired is to use sandpaper as if it were free. And the meaning is that, uh, you know, when it's not working properly, you just want to dump it and go on to a new piece because really life is too short to play with dull sandpaper. from the scraper right there. Let's we'll see what that's all about. Well, maybe we'll leave that alone for now until we get into some more measuring. But you can see this isn't a whole lot of hand sanding and cleaning up pretty well. And right now, I'm starting to feel like the sandpaper To be renewed usefully. I'm gonna do that in just a minute. And I'll do the rest of the sanding off camera. And get back to you when I'm done. Alright. <laughs> 